Hello, drivers and everybody out there on LinkedIn and wherever you're watching this, YouTube. Uh, I am so excited. This is uh, the first one this year of our <laughs> Knowing Your Network series. And I'm here with the awesome Tammy Crea from Launches Made Simple. And she, she makes coaches' lives work. And I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about her background. For those of you who are new to this uh, vlog, uh, it's really about all the people on my LinkedIn network who are first level connections and we wanna know who they are and I want you to know who they are. So I'm, I'm looking forward. So go ahead, Tammy. Thank you, I'm, I'm so happy to be here because that's what LinkedIn is for is to actually get to know people. Yes. And I really appreciate the fact that, you know, we're able to do this, to just chat like this. So um, a little bit about me, I've been an entrepreneur for over 35 years. I literally never held a job. I started my first company a month before I graduated from college and I've just been going ever since. And Basically, Launches Made Simple came out of the fact that myself and my partner, Abigail, we had been working in high ticket sales, helping coaches close sales. And what we found was that there was a disconnect because we would be all geared up. Somebody would want to launch a product and we would be there ready to support them to close their sales for them, bring them in the money. Mm. And the product would be phenomenal. The coach would be phenomenal. Their work was stellar. I mean, I worked f behind the scenes for some of the larger names. I worked for Josh Turner's organization with Zig Ziglar Foundation, many different wow. places with sales, Danny Innie doing Course Builders Laboratory. Um, and the thing of it was, is that so frequently they would have these fabulous programs. We'd be standing by ready to do the the sales for them for their launch mm. and there wouldn't be the traffic. So the disconnect that we found was that coaches are great at coaching and people can be great at support. Yes. But if you don't understand the branding and the traffic generation, then there's a complete disconnect and then there's no money. Because if you don't have people to actually talk to about your great program, then nothing's happening. Then There's nothing. no cash. Yeah. So right? Abigail and, and Abigail has been a, an entrepreneur as long as I have as well. And she worked for some of the larger ad agencies also in New York in branding and has an MBA and has done extensive branding work. And so we got together. I figured out the traffic generation in particular with helping coaches succeed on Facebook with bringing in their right audience. Cause that's the thing. Everybody says you go on Facebook, you just lose money. Well, you mm. don't have to lose money if you know what you're doing, but if it isn't done right, if you just listen to Facebook and you click all their buttons and put an ad up there, yeah. you're going to be throwing money down the rat hole. You may as well just do that or donate it to charity rather than <laughs> just on Facebook and do what they tell you to do. <laughs> so, I went through extensive training, working with a mentor, and learned how to make this work in that end. And like I said, my partner is a fabulous branding expert. So we have a marketing agency. We don't sell a cookie cutter program. Every coach that we bring in to work with, we design something specifically for them. Good. So uh, you pretty much answered my first question, right? Which is what's the problem you solve, right? Yep. Yep. And you talked a little bit about who, who you solve it for, right? Like who you solve that problem for. So I'd love to hear more about that. Yep. We work with any kind of actual coach. I mean, a life coach, a business coach, um, really anybody that is in the business of helping other people achieve. Mm coach. Uh, we do work with online people primarily, although I have extensive background in working with brick and mortar businesses as well, because I owned a publishing company for 30 years Wow! with local brick and mortar mom and pop and up businesses forever. And that's some, in some ways how I got into the whole marketing idea, because I used to coach people to get their business to a point where they could afford to buy my ads. So that was, it was very self-serving, but no. that's, I kind of learned how to be a coach. 
<laughs> was from the idea of helping people increase their business so they could actually spend money on getting more business. Yes. So we, but we work primarily with online coaches in helping them develop programs that will sell. That's the branding end of it so that people are very clear on who and what they are hmm. and then helping them to market to their right audience. Primarily we use Facebook ads. Sometimes we use LinkedIn. It depends again on the coach and the audience that they're trying to reach because that's the first step. Let's determine who it is you really are after. Who are you really going to work with? Who are hmm. you really going to help? And then okay. we can build a program for you. And we do it for you. I mean, literally, we create everything for you. We create funnels. We create landing pages. We know how to put the ads up and tweak them so that they work. Mm. So coaches are great at coaching, but they're not marketers. And they're not. And, 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 and really, that's the same for every business. You know, I, I'm, I'm a business coach. And I, as I look at all the different businesses that we help grow, they're not good at marketing either. And that's not, they shouldn't be good at marketing. They should make no. sure that they work with somebody like you to really get their business, to get that part of the business functional and working. So what I'd like to hear right now is an example of an actual client, like client success that you've had recently. What did that look like? What was it like before? And what is it like now? Well, here's the thing. We've had so many different types of successes. I mean, I worked with an online um, marriage counseling. Oh, cool. Tell um, me about that. That yeah. year, we've gotten their business up to two and a half times what it was when I first started mm. working with them. Um, I've worked with uh, an online... Um, how do I, I, it's, it doesn't fit in a nice little category, but it's helping caregivers that are working with their family members that have, you know, Alzheimer's or dementia. There's wow. a lot of coaching that needs to be done in that. And we basically went from zero, you know, helping her start to the idea of her hitting her first goals, which were modest, mind you, you know, eight mm. to $10,000 a month in sales, but we're, you know, that's continuing to grow. Awesome. Uh, you know, many, many, many stories like that. I don't know how long you want to spend on this. But the thing is, is that when we come in and we design a program, our first goal is either to get somebody up and running, because we do certainly work with coaches that are just developing programs. Mm. And one of the biggest successes in my mind with any coach that I work with is almost universally a coach will come to me and they will have priced their program. They've got a six week, an eight week, a 12 week program, which are phenomenal. And in almost every case, I can either put a one in front of it or a zero after it and ah, have them nice. tell you what they really should be worth. Wow. And that comes from the idea of going, who are you and what are you offering? Because way too many people come to me and say, well, I was going to do this eight week course with weekly one on one sessions and group coaching and unlimited email coaching. And I'm going to charge three ninety seven. dollars And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> So <laughs> one of the first things we do is to You mean thirty seven ninety, right? <laughs> their value here. And that it's very, very possible to put that zero behind it. And literally to succeed with the same number of clients you would have had without that zero. But what is your life like at that point? How many clients are you really, really working with? Mm. It's huge. Yeah, and that's a, a huge problem in the industry is that people just seem to believe that they are not, they're not worthy. And so that that's good. So that's good. So that gives us an example of what happens to a client when they come with you and, you know, boom. So now I have a question that has nothing to do with the business. Has nothing, this is about you, right? And yep. so this is like, what are you curious about right now? Right. So what are you doing? Like, what are the what are the things that are interesting to you right now? What's going on? Well, this I, this is really mundane. I hate to say it, but for me, it's huge. And that is that in less than three months, I'm going to become a grandma for the first time. Woo that's giant. What are you talking about? That's like I am mundane. And do what these days. Oh, my goodness. So long ago. Well, 
what are the cool things out there <laughs> that you can get for babies now? <laughs> There's so many cool things. I know, I know. But I think whoever is listening to this, if if you've got cool things that you think Tammy should be getting, oh yes, for for, for her grandson or granddaughter, do we know they yet? Won't, they won't know until it comes out. Oh, awesome! So we need like baby agnostic things yes. <laughs> <laughs> that she can get. So please post them in the comments so that we can see we can yeah. see what those are later. And oh, make sure the baby stuff right now. <laughs> that is so amazing. That is so amazing. I've got little ones still, so I got a, a seven and a nine. I have a twenty-six year old, but I don't think she's gonna be having kids anytime soon. So No, my twenty seven so year old is the one that's gonna have the baby. And uh, the nice thing is that he and his wife only live ten minutes away from me. That's fantastic. That's well, fantastic. Another, Both for them and for you. I have another son that's 30 who I'm in Minnesota and he ran away to California because he met a California uh, girl. But the cool thing about that, and this is the other thing I'm into, is the idea of in January, how much time can I actually spend at their house? Oh, nice. <laughs> Very cool. Excellent. So is there anything else that I should have asked, but I didn't ask? Well, the thing of it is, is that what we're looking for more than anything else is people who want to explore doing marketing, because we are more than happy to just simply have a conversation, no pressure, no sales, no, you know, whatever. Mm. I love to talk to people kind of like this, just get to know them. What is your situation? How could we help you? Mm. How could we design something specifically for you? And how can we make it work? And I love hearing about where people are at, what they're trying, what they're, you know, I, I had somebody I had a conversation with that just called me up the other day and said, you know, we were talking and you were telling me about what I should do with my LinkedIn profile. Would you mind just telling me that again? I'm not ready for any marketing help or anything yet. But you mentioned that I could do a few things to my LinkedIn profile to make it stand out. I'm like, sure. We yeah. Talk about that. Awesome. Afraid to sell anything. I just want to help. And awesome, awesome, we awesome, are awesome. in sales. And yes, we do want you to buy from us so we can help you. But even if you're not ready for that yet, I'd love to just open a conversation. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. So now... We, they need to know, how do they get in touch with you? So Absolutely. what are the ways that they can get in touch with you? Absolutely. You can reach me by phone, which is area code 612-867-2148. You can email me at team, T-E-A-M, at launchesmadesimple.com. You can go to the website, www.launchesmadesimple.com. Send me a message. I mean, or you can find me on LinkedIn under Tammy Korea. So <laughs> good. So that's all the ways that they can get a hold of you. Absolutely. Fantastic. So I thank you for coming on today. I appreciate you, and I thank you for for choosing me to so, I, so to be in my network. You know, like. A, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, here. I'm hoping to, you know, just like I yeah. said, have conversations with a bunch of cool people. Very, very cool. All right. Say to bye, goodbye to everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks, Joe. You got it.